Rosh Tucker, you're everywhere. Super Bowl week, you're everywhere. I saw you slinging on opening night. You're writing articles left, right, and center. You are the hardest working man in show business. I always say it every year. I mean, I'm trying. You know, none of it is work. Everybody, I, I never once say to my wife, I got to go to work. It's, I got to write an article. I got to do a show. I got to do one of my podcasts. I love it. Uh, I'm 40. I still haven't had a real job yet, so I'm going to try to <laughs> stay, away, stay away from it as long as I can. Keep rolling. But I want to talk about the 49ers schedule, first things first, and the importance of that win against Seattle, the Dre Greenlaw play. I spoke to him at opening night about it, and I said, what did Coach Salah say to you after? Were you the most popular man in the locker room after that? And he downplayed it, but how big was that moment? No, he was the most popular guy in the locker room because he got all those guys a week off. Right. I mean, that is huge. I'm telling you, that is one of the best hits I've ever seen in my life. That was a 255-pound tight end who caught the ball. And if this was the goal line right here, he's like an inch from the goal line. And Dre Greenlaw came in and bam. I mean, that was unbelievable. I asked him uh, on, on Monday night. He said it was the best hit of his life. Yeah. And it was. And what's crazy, if you think about it, Nat, is – like, if the Dolphins don't beat the Patriots Week 17, then the Chiefs have to win two road games, three playoff games, two road games to get here. If they call pass interference on Hollister, or they don't have to delay a game, or Greenlaw doesn't make the best hit I've ever seen, then the Niners have to win three games on the road at Philly and then two more. I don't think either one of these teams is here at the wow. Super Bowl if it wasn't for what happened yeah. in week 17. Yeah, fine margins. Great to see Ross, and, and he, make, he made some fantastic Looks great points. with the beard, doesn't he? Looking sharp. One of the things, I think, that is is key, obviously, if you've got a first-round by home field advantage, that gives you uh, a significant leg up over the opposition when it comes to the postseason. But that play by Dre Green, or who we caught up with at Radio Row on Monday, how important could that prove to be this season? It, it really, and, and when you think about it, you know, this whole playoffs depended on a couple of really bad, you know, if the Chiefs lose in, in New England, if New right. England doesn't lose to, to Miami. Miami, if uh, the Saints if the Saints don't lose to Atlanta yep. in that game yep. in New Orleans, if they beat San Francisco in that game. You know, the whole playoff seeding right. changes, and it could be different. So things have fallen really well for these two teams. Greenlaw is mm. going to be key in here because speed of linebackers is, is essential mm. um, when you're playing the Chiefs because, right. you know, like like um, like San Francisco, they're going to attack you a lot across the middle of the field. And Greenlaw is very good in coverage, as we've seen. And um, and I think I think he and Warner in particular, might you might wind up seeing them as three-down linebackers a lot more than you would expect against a team as explosive as the Chiefs.